Welcome to Ford Power Force Tech Talk. In this series, we'll focus on tips to help you fix your Ford vehicle right the first time. In this post, we'll find out how to avoid multiple transmission or engine repairs with a simple step, following the best practices for transmission dowel installation. Anytime the transmission is separated from the engine, you need to reinstall the transmission dowels to make sure the engine and transmission are properly aligned. Improper dowel installation is an often overlooked contributor to other repair issues. Proper dowel replacement is especially important for high torque diesels, like the 6.0 and 6.4 liter engines. Since a lot of the E-Series and F-Series that have 6.0 and 6.4 liter engines are work vans or trucks, they may have had more than one engine or transmission repair, making improper dowel installation possible. Improper installation of the dowels can crack flex plates and flywheels or damage torque converters and transmission pumps. This can lead to wearing down the pump bushing or the hub seals, which can cause leaks. In extreme cases, incorrect dowel installation can lead to the engine's failure to start or loss of transmission engagement. If proper dowel installation is not addressed, this can lead to repeat component failure. Repeat component failures often lead to misdiagnosis. Noises can be hard to pin down during diagnosis. You might hear a rotational rattle, clatter, or even a rumble from a cracked flex plate. Some of the noises associated with improper dowel installation could be a scrape or tick at regular intervals, rather than a continuous noise. Or it could even sound like a lower end engine knock, leading to a misdiagnosis. Because of sound transfer, a cracked flex plate can sound like a lower end bearing failure. Inspecting the engine oil filter can help determine if a bearing failure exists. If a small amount of metal is found, verify that the flex plate has not cracked before you perform any powertrain repairs. If very large amounts of material are found, this could be an indication of an internal engine failure. Because the engine and transmission may not be correctly aligned during assembly, leaks from the transmission pump or torque converter can also be associated with improper dowel installation. When we see a leak in a torque converter, it's often a knee-jerk reaction to replace the seal. But check the dowel pins too. It could save you from having to replace the seal again. When replacing the transmission, check to see that all dowel pins are present and ready to install in the engine block. They could have been left out of a previous repair. There aren't any special tools required to install the transmission dowels properly, just a dead blow or even a ball peen hammer, and a tape measure or a self-made gauge. That's it. You can mark the measurement on the dowel itself and tap it into that point. Then verify you've installed the dowel to the correct depth. Make sure that the torque converter is fully seated. Sometimes it can change position during the installation process. And before you install it in the transmission, make sure to lubricate the torque converter pilot hub. This step can help avoid damage to the torque converter and crankshaft. Just twist it in gently. The torque converter has a slip fit into the pump, so you can feel if it's fitting properly. You can verify that the torque converter is still installed into the pump correctly and that there is no binding with this simple test. Once you've installed the transmission into the vehicle, rock one of the studs on the torque converter back and forth in its hole a few times. The torque converter should move freely. If there is absolutely no movement, it suggests that the torque converter and pump are incorrectly assembled. Free movement during this test tells you you're ready to finish the job by bolting it into place. Take note, if it's not fitting properly and you don't check, you'll still be able to bolt it in but it can cause pump gear damage when the engine is started. It might also cause a broken flex plate or damage the torque converter itself. So take a minute to check, and you could save yourself an added repair. When you need to replace the torque converter in a Ford or Lincoln vehicle, a Ford remanufactured torque converter is an excellent choice. Ford remanufacturers use only original equipment cores, and they work with OEM engineers to make sure that every component meets or exceeds Ford Motor Company specs. Frequently, remanufactured torque converters incorporate any design upgrades, providing a component that's equal or superior to the originally installed part at a competitive cost. 
And when you're choosing parts for all of your repairs, remember that Motorcraft parts feature a two-year, unlimited mileage warranty. That's all for this post. Be sure to check out our series of videos for installation and repair tips for Ford engines and transmissions. Thanks for watching.